Hello friends, in this lecture we will see this model. This is a surfacing model. So first of all, I am going to create this in a surfacing and at the last I will apply this thickness which is 2 mm and all the plates are 5 on the vertical or curve edges. So here this is my top view and this is sectional view AA which is the front view and one side view BB which is cutting from this mid and a detailed view of C. So we have only this detail so first of all i'm going to create from the front this portion i'm going to create and i will extrude it in 50 so let's start with the annex okay select this sketch and i'm going to start with this front plane and draw a arc Okay, and double click over it and change the radius as 100 and I'm going to match these two points horizontally and one more dimension we need wait first I'm going to align this center with the vertical axis now define this value this point and this horizontal axis this gap is 50 C this is the 50 Okay, and uh, here I'm going to create this line from here, here and match it. And the total length is 125, so I'm going to change it to 125 and match this point with the origin or this horizontal axis. Okay, so it will automatically define finish. And I'm going to extrude this. Click this. No, just make it symmetric, and the value is 25, so that 50 will come okay. Okay, hide this, and now from the top. Here we have to define a ellipse at the middle and let's see the dimension here and the dimensions are the lower one is 12 and 8 okay apply and finish and now I'm going to create another plane 50 and select it and next ellipse is at the same point but the dimension are different so next outer circle is 24 and 16 so 24 and 16 and ok finish now I am going to match this with the help of this through curve Okay, so first section is this, add, and my second section is this, and reverse the direction, and I'm going to match with the arc. So it is normal from the bottom, and okay. And select this and I'm going to mirror it. So mirror feature and select this one and subtract. Okay, hide all this. Now at this bottom face, I need two circle draw click and the one is two and second is four in dial at the same place both are concentric now dimension it from the right it is at four millimeter and from the top this point is 8.5 okay close and use this mirror okay here we have the mirror curve so i'm going to mirror or oh, just leave we will mirror after uh, subtraction okay so click it and the bigger one circle is 
reverse five in okay and here we have the five see this is the five so i'm taking from there and the depth is not given anywhere so click this and the smaller one i am going to select after this no problem okay or a little bit more okay now hide this here it is not properly visible so i have created like this and select both and mirror it okay. and we need the same circles here circle is same 3 click here 4 is a dia and match this with the horizontal axis and 16 from the left finish and extrude this reverse side 5 is the thickness and drop of 2 2 and ok hide this one and before I am going to shell first apply the fillets so I am using this blend so click ok Okay, so this is my model now I am going to apply this shell and the thickness is 2 so I want to remove this and ok and see now go to this view and here in add it ok and I am going to use this offset region I want to offset this region to the next so drag it it will automatically merge no problem just remove it cancel I am going to use this move ok let's do this first then we will see this drag up to the last and okay and here offset click and the distance is little bit 20 no 10 6 5 I'm going to change with this uh, my section okay this offset face select this drag it and apply the same I am doing with this drag up to the next and ok and here we have the view so add it this one and let's match it say this coming outside why it's so I'm going to use again this delete I don't need this one this 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 face and rotate it whether there is a
move this one? No. Let's move. Okay. <coughs> Now it is okay. 